We are the power. We got the stage. We got the rage. Damage control, brother. Damage control, December 19th, raw preview. Of a few oh, excellent things to get. I've not even tonight. watched this show, but it's going to be damage fucking limitations. Never mind damage control. Control, alt, fucking delete. I hate this stable. Worst faction of all time. I'd say it's up there. I'd say it's up there. Especially when the leader's barely. We knew the Triple H era was doomed when this got dragged out at SummerSlam. I feel like you could see with three people return and Bailey's the best by a mile. That's when well, you leave a problem for like. She's better than the other two. The other two are shite. I never heard them say one fucking word before. Well, uh, that wee Japanese fucking promo was better than anything I've seen Bailey do. I well. Ding fucking dong. Ding dong Hello. ding. Hello. All right. Well, anyway, we've got Becky Lynch taking on Bailey. Who's winning and why? Well, first I need to know why they're taking each other on here. No title on the line. No number one contender match. Just a a random throwaway match on Raw. I guess this has been a bit of a feud, so maybe since it's the last Raw before Christmas, they're treating this as the payoff show, or the, the payoff match, or, I mean, who knows? I think Becky Lynch needs to win, but at the same time, Bailey's been fucking losing week in, week out. Ever since she came back, she's been like a fucking squeaky toy that just has lost its squeaker, right? She Oi. needs... <laughs> Fuck Bailey. I would give the win to Becky Lynch. Becky, at one point, wasn't that long ago, two or three years ago, but let's say three years ago, Becky Lynch was arguably, I don't even think you can argue, undoubtedly, being pushed as the top star in WWE, ma male or woman. So it's mad to see her, you know, and again, she gave that up. She decided to walk away and, uh, you know, ha have a child. And I think I think WWE are petty. Like, well, not petty, because they did invest a lot in her, and she was like, you know what, he's pushed me to the moon, but... I'm going to go and have a fucking child with Seth Rollins. I mean, fuck that shit. Had her chance, blew it. Roman Reigns stepped up. That's, I, you that's know, what I, I look at. I, I, I agree with that. Some people go, oh, you can't dictate that. But you know what? See if you're on top, you stay on top. It's your job, do it. I think, I think if Becky Lynch never got pushed again, she couldn't fucking complain. Well, I don't think her push has been any... I don't think since she got her return since coming back, in my opinion, hasn't been that good. Like, she's just not at the same level as she was. And that, oh, that's going to be tough, I get it, because she was at the top essentially, but I, I just feel like now time has passed her by. I mean, will she have another title reign or two, potentially, like, but see this big time Bex, I'm the man, I am the fucking forefront of Raw, you tune in to watch Raw to see me. Which all looks like quagmire there, doesn't it? It does a wee bit, a bit on the right. What the fuck's going on there? That looks massive. Anyway, I'm going with Becky Lynch, you're going with Becky Lynch. Aye, Becky Lynch for me. Becky Lynch, second thing, Dexter Loomis taking on The Miz. Oh, fuck, why don't takes all ladder match? Well, this is one thing I'll definitely be tuning in to see, I think. Aye, a ladder maybe, match? Maybe not tonight, like, but... Yeah, so if Dexter Loomis wins, he gets all the money and he gets a WWE contract, I believe. Well, no, he's already got a WWE contract. I think it's just for money. Aye, the money. Which, when was the last time money was on the line in a ladder match? I'm thinking, I'm thinking know, King of the Ring 99. I know, but money doesn't really mean shit to the fans. Like, money doesn't mean fuck all to me. Fuck, it does as the feud matters. Though. I know, but it's money at the end of the day. We all know it's... If, if someone's career was on the line... Well, so Austin against the McMahons was pissed because the money wasn't going to us. A wee bit, aye. I would have rather had some of that money. Right, probably. Right. Like, my point being is... It's a stipulation where it doesn't really matter. I if the Miz loses, he's gonna to pretend to be broke and who knows, maybe we'll get like a broke ass Miz instead of broke ass Baron Corbin, but for me, shouldn't Dexter's contract be on the line here or something or uh, Yeah, it, well but then again he, he just won it. I, I've yeah, but I wouldn't have, my point is, I wouldn't have had him won I it. Done it so. I wouldn't I wouldn't have had him won it, and I would have had him having the, the Miz's money. And the whole thing being is Dexter Loomis has to put the Miz, is, the Miz is, puts his money on the line, but Dexter Loomis puts his raw contract on the line. I would have done that, rather than just have, here yeah, we're battling for money, but no matter who wins, it doesn't really matter. Dexter Loomis doesn't even really care about money. He's supposed to be a stalker, yet the whole storyline's him built around working for the Miz. That is just completely fucking killed this guy's return. When he came back, kidnapping the Miz, stalking the Miz, turning up at the Miz's house, it looked good. Then you add Johnny Gargano into the mix and your numbers drastically go down. The feud went down. The Scott Signer would say, the numbers don't lie. This has went to shit. Dexter Lewis returns being a failure and now they're having a ladder match over virtual money that doesn't even exist. So, I mean... I'm, go I'm, you know I'm going with Dexter Lewis, so to win. Same. Because it's only money. It's not <laughs> it doesn't fucking mean anything. Plus, I think they might do they've hinted that they're going to do something with The Miz not having any money. The Miz being broke. So There we go then. Right, and the final part of the preview tonight, the Street Profits take on the Judgment Day. Well, this is the problem when you do a preview on WWE.com because they, they, they give you like fucking three things. 
Uh, well, have you got four things? Well, not on this website, no. Well, tell us what they are. <laughs> I said not on this website, no. Well, but I thought you knew what they are. Well, no, obviously I fucking don't, because we're on WWE.com. I would doubt, that's all you need to know, guys. Street, aye, street Profits are on action tonight. Well, praise the fucking Lord, man. Who's winning Street Profits of the Judgment Day? <laughs> not the Fewers, anyway, that's for sure. Fewers are fucking losing them to watch this. No, I, I, I don't mind. Just Hold on, right. What the fuck's on another website that actually makes Raw worth watching? They're talking about a ladder match here. The draw that's Becky Lynch and the Judgment Day. What else is actually going to be on, Rob? Mm, it could be like, I don't know, Cena could be returning or something. My Fia Satellite again. I take it. Anyway, right. I'm Wait, hold on, you wouldn't take Cena Fia Satellite? Of course Satellite? I would. But well, I'm you'd rather. Cena Fia Satellite or fucking Finn Balor in person? I'm going with the Judgment Day, right? Who are you going with? Yeah, Judgment Day, aye, why not? All right, well, anyway, guys. See, there is no tag team. All these tag teams are being jobbed out because of the Usos. Holding the belts hostage. There is no fucking tag team division. And there's no work. See, you think about it. See, for the past two years, there's literally been nothing to fight for. At two and a half years, there's been nothing to fight for at the main offence scene. And for almost two years, there's been, all right, there's been teams that have challenged the Usos, but it's always had Uso involvement, and you've always knew that they weren't going to win. Who say? See, if the, see if the Usos are in a match for non titles, they'll lose. But if it's titles, they'll win. And that's the bottom line. But are you going to win the night? Are you going to watch Raw? Hopefully not for your sanity. But until next time, final thoughts. <sighs> that's my final thoughts. <sighs>